Hey guys, this is Brian over at R1Soft, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly add a server to the backup manager so you can get a backup started as soon as possible. Now, a lot of times, what you're going to do is you're going to come through each section here and you're going to add those components uh, to get a backup started. So, you go, go to the server section, you would add the server information there, uh, you create a disk safe for that server, and then create a policy for the backup. Um, there's a lot of additional features in the, each section here. Uh, for example, the policy is going to contain uh, additional features like SQL, MySQL integration, control panels, uh, Exchange, and you can you can also set up your disk safe replication schedule there as well. But let's just let's say we just want to add a server here, get the backup going, and we're not really worried about additional features right now. We'll just add those later if you need them at all. Uh, what you can do is just come to the main dashboard here and click on add a server here at the top left of the screen Once I click on that we're going to open up the add a server wizard And this is going to be some basic steps just to get everything all those components added and start your backup uh, First screen here. We want to supply a host name or an IP address So I'm going to add that information here and down below that we have the option of deploying the agent installation from the backup manager uh, so if you've uh, you've already got your, your agent inst installed done, it's complete, it's ready to go. Um, go ahead and uncheck that box. But if you want to to install from the backup manager, we leave that checked, and we're going to supply the administrative credentials for that server. Now, if this is a Microsoft server, uh, Windows server, you're going to have to uh, re reboot it. That's just a requirement on their end. So you'll need to plan for that you don't have to reboot r right away after you install the agent but before you can start backups you'll have to reboot so go ahead and plan ahead for that uh, I've already got my agent installed so I'm just gonna leave this unchecked and I'm gonna click on next and we're gonna validate that uh, that is a resolvable IP address and yes it is uh, so next screen we're gonna set up our disk safe uh, top here we're gonna uh, add this uh, to a volume if we want to but uh, so let's say you know I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the Stark Industries volume this this is another server that I'm backing up for that company so I want to group those in a common uh, area and then I'm gonna go ahead and add it to that volume and down, down at the bottom here we have a few options uh, compression and encryption uh, Compression, we're, we're going to do that by default. So as you can see, we've got Quick LZ automatically selected. It's uh, it's our most, our, our fastest, most efficient uh, uh, compression engine that we have here in the product. But if you need higher levels of compression, you can slide this to the right and get uh, a little bit more out of it. Um, I would recommend the Quick LZ. It's going to be minimal I/O while we're compressing that data. So um, I'm going to leave that there. Now on the right side here, we have the encryption option. So if this will encrypt the disk safe data on the disk as well as across the wire. Um, check this box and we're gonna ask for password information for that uh, for the encryption. It's going to ask you for the password whenever you move the disk safe to another ma manager or you come into the backup manager and you wanna download or restore files from that uh, backup. Um, so it's AES 256-bit encryption. Uh, you just supply that password and uh, and you're done. So uh, I'm going to uncheck this for now. I'm just going to click next. I'm not going to set that up. So um, then we've got our policy information. We've got a few basic options here just to get things going. We've got a standard policy that is going to back up every hour on the hour. It's going to keep 10 hours of backup. So we're all gonna, also going to set up daily archives at 11 p.m. We're going to keep 10 days worth of those. So um, this would be what I would recommend unless you've got like a, a, a mission critical server, which is your second option, something like a database server uh, where you can't really lose a lot of data. And that's going to be um, every 10 minutes, we're going to keep 50 recovery points and we're also going to set up hourly archives there and we're going to keep 24 of those. So uh, I'm going to set up a standard for right now. I uh, just need an hour, hourly policy. Just keep in mind, you know, uh, we're very fast or very efficient about our backups, just the way that technology works. So um, go ahead and use that if you can. I would recommend that. So I'm going to click on standard and then uh, add a server. Now, once we click on add a server, we're going to start going through and adding each individual component here. And we're also going to have uh, an option here at the end to start doing your backups uh, right away. So 
let this kind of finish up and there you go so you just click on start backing up now and we'll start that and then we'll start backing up every hour on the hour and that's it that's all you need to do to get everything working thanks for watching